Hi everybody, it's Amy from Crafty Cat, and I am working on um, my Reason for the Season journal. Um, this journal will be going to Mary, so I'm um, making it for Mary. Uh, I, the only thing I've done, I added this rose and it says Christianity here, and then there's a little um, journal card that says the story of Christmas and a little place to write there. So that just gets tucked in behind that rose. I don't think I've done anything else since we worked on it together yesterday. I was going to make a um, belly band. I think I'll make it for the second. Oh, this is the second signature. Okay. I'm just trying not to do a whole lot more in one signature than the other. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. I'm trying to equally put stuff in both. That one has that pocket and that. So yeah, let's do the belly band in this one. All right, so this is that um, like rose colored painters masking paper that comes on the gigantic roll. And so I think I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna tear each end first, just so that it's Got the torn edge. And I think I want it on one on that one or a different one. Let me see. Maybe this one. Uh, I like it better on this one. Okay. I might have to move pages around to make it all distributed right or whatever. That's why I don't sew them in first because <laughs> sometimes things just work out where I want them a certain place. And I also, I did add some envelopes, some of the avocado dyed envelopes, but I haven't decorated them yet. So that's another thing I need to do, these ones. I just folded them. I'm thinking now though that I might turn them this way and have these as pockets. So yeah, I haven't totally decided on how I'm gonna do those yet. All right, so I kind of want to collage on this, and then I have some other items that I was going to add to it, but let's put it, put some stuff on it first. And I don't want um, like angels or anything particularly on this, so I'm thinking that, I don't think these are, oh, they are long enough, okay. So this is Medieval Mirage, and it's Medieval Odyssey, volume one. It just makes beautiful backgrounds, so I love it. Love it. I kind of want more of these roses. So let's do it like this, and I'll take a little more off that but side because I can always use a strip somewhere. I just love the roses. Probably won't even be able to see them after I'm done, but you know. It actually snowed here yesterday. I didn't stick or anything, but that was our first snow this season. It's kind of crazy. This is kind of dark up here, so I might take some of that off. I hope you're all doing well, making your plans for Thanksgiving and whatever you may be traveling or whatever. I hope everybody's safe and doing good. Probably the last day I'll be working this week unless I have a few moments here and there but because I've got to start cooking and stuff tomorrow and cleaning and all that fun jazz that you do. It's kind of nonsensical to clean and then make a big huge dinner and have people over because your house is just going to get destroyed and then you'll have to clean it again. Never really understood all that but you know. Nobody asked me. I kind of want this not so even, but I don't want to tear it. I want it this width. So I'm just going to run my scissors along here and kind of rough it up a little bit. So 
yeah, I just had a little bit, so I decided I would come work on this. And film it. I was working on it for a little bit before I turned on the camera, but a lot of it was just prep stuff, cutting stuff out and inking stuff and doing all that. And I know that's not super exciting to do the rows and the other little journal card, but... I thought it would be fun to put a pocket on a belly band and I'm sure it's been done I just thought of it so I'm gonna do it and I have this and I'm pretty much just entirely covering this up I could just glue this down and make a pocket but I kind of want like a specific pocket because this hangs over a little bit so I'm go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, coin envelope. Kind of do like this. Yeah, and see I'm going to end up covering up all those roses anyway. Um, and I think I'm going to put this at the top of that. The only thing is I'm probably going to have to trim it at the edges. So let me go ahead and attach this at least. I have no idea what this is going to end up looking like, but we'll give it a whirl. I just cut the top off of the envelope before I decided what I was going to do exactly. Just gonna set that in there. I, I want it glued down pretty good because I'm going to have that card going in and out. And I just did a simple um, journal card with this and then on the back there's ledger paper. I figured there's enough other stuff going on that we don't need to that yeah I'm gonna have to just kind of tear that I think and I'll just ink those edges a bit make it look like it's been hanging out up there for a while <laughs> and then this is going to go here, so I think I'm going to have to move it up even more. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I can glue that down. I think I'm going to use tacky glue. I have so many choices. really good so it stays down. I mean you could make you know double pockets and stuff but I don't think I want to get into that with the way this is. Um, with the doily up there. It's just not going to work right. little fold in it but I kind of like it and then this needs to just have glue kind of all over the envelope would probably be the best bet oh, I just realized this is open cannot leave that stuff open at all because it is a disaster Here. Yeah, I hope all you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's always interesting when um, families all get together. You never know exactly. I mean, it's a good thing. It just <laughs> can be kind of crazy. like maybe a flower down to here or something. Let's see what we got. The 
This won't fit. That's a neat little like part of a poem. like that might be kind of good. Let's see, let's see what other ones I've got. I've got the giant ones. I don't think I have a whole lot of little ones left. There's that one too. kind of like the red. It just fit really well there. So I think if I ink that it'll not be quite so stark looking. So I can find this thing right in front of me. This is how my fingernail ends up brown. <laughs> Got glue on it and ink. Okay, let's see this. Sometimes you just can't get it enough on the edges with that. down a bit. It's kind of quiet here today. Kids are home but they're both doing their own thing. Daughter's getting ready to go to cello lessons. This goes down in the little pocket as long as I didn't seal it somehow. Let me get it. Sometimes you gotta like. There we go. So that just goes right in there. Alrighty, and then, oh yeah, we'll have to have something to go in the belly band, huh? <laughs> All the details. What did I do with that page? Did I not put it back? Oh, there it is. Oh, that was my middle one, huh? One on that side, or... Oh, I wonder if it would look good on the pink. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. It needs more. There's not a whole lot of anything going back this direction, so I think that might be a good spot. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. Pink on pink on pink. <laughs> This goes really good with this um, avocado dyed though. That is one cool part about that. Try to get it straight-ish and even-ish. And I may run a stitch across those once that dries before I sew it in just so that it stays. So we need something to go in here. I think I'm going to take this out to let it dry because that's kind of wet. All right, so let's see. These, oops, this one's kind of messed up. Not that it matters, it's going to get covered, but yeah, those fit well take a little bit off the edges for a more torn look. Put the pin back. This paper I definitely need to cover. This was a book from the um, dollar store and it is all texting and stuff so I don't even know what some of it says but 
just going to cover it. This doesn't have a lot of the texting, but... So not a lot new and exciting, just working on this journal, but it was kind of fun putting a pocket on a um, belly band. try to get it done by the end of the week but I don't think it's gonna happen I don't know I'm trying <laughs> all right let's see paper will get covered need I'd get it straight on here that would help okay. oh, I forgot I'm gonna have to tear a bit of this too That's the problem. It always just slips out. That one's pumping. I don't want to use those. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. Can't do it with a little edge. It just doesn't work. keep him over to that side so that hopefully when it's in the belly band you'll be able to see this angel. Place over the top of these made them a little bit more gray than some of the other pages. We can warm them up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know we're moving on to Christmas after Thanksgiving this week, but I am not ready for snow and all that. I just don't feel like it's time yet. I know it is, but yuck. Loved it when I was a kid, but then you become an adult and you have to drive in it and shovel it and all of that, and that ruins, sort of ruins it. Nose for some reason. I think I've used that one. <laughs> I like that one. Those ones are huge. That one's kind of cool. It says, A peaceful Christmas to you. up there. Yeah. And these are, um, I have some of those uh, Memories of a Lifetime books, and you can find them on Amazon, but they're kind of a early 90s thing, so I don't know. This one's out of the Christmas one. And, yeah, so I don't know if you can still get them or not. Actually, that one, maybe I found that one on Pinterest. I'll take that back. It's like an old postcard. Pinterest. But that's where I got some of these other images, so apologize for that, because I know I can't really get a hold of those very easily. One of Denise's um, doilies, the avocado dye. It's the lighter, lighter pink one. Yeah, kind of like that. I think that will work because that picture is kind of dark, so it helps lighten it a little bit doing that. So let me get this down with glitter glue. Huh. Maybe. That's just my clock. For those of you that haven't heard it. That definitely makes um, gluing doilies easier, for sure. my glue stick for the picture. going to be busy cleaning <laughs> after Christmas. It's going to be like tear this room apart and redo it because it is beyond a disaster at this point and I don't even see hope anytime soon. Too much, too much happening from here on out. This says nativity scene if you can't see it very well because it's kind of tiny. It just came out of a book, you know. I don't know, 
because it has that a peaceful Christmas to you thing. So I'm not sure if I want this or not. Maybe if I take a little bit more off of it. I just like to have kind of some random things. <laughs> just my it's my thing. it up a little bit. Alright, so that's that. We need to do the other side. I think maybe I'll use Denise. Oops, I only got a little piece left. Well, we could do kind of a, let's say, let's do this side of it. And what else? I'll put back there. That's kind of clean to write on. I like the roses on that. It's pretty. That. Something like this. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we just need a little something up there at the top. Crazy piece. That will work. So don't forget, after Thanksgiving, Denise will have this um, avocado dyed paper with graph on one side and lines on the other side in her shop. So if you like it, and I'll try to remind you guys next week. first if I don't get glue on it or fuzz or whatever else my right side up yep and then this one's next messing something up here in a minute. Oops, I did it the wrong way, didn't I? You guys were probably yelling at me. Well, I guess we're having the graph set up. I must have had graph on my brain or something. Ding a ling. I was wondering why it didn't look inked. Because that wasn't the side I was going to use. Ugh, brain. Okay, so let's see. We could put, like, I had some other snowflakes. Yeah. Some of these down here, maybe. Or at least one, just for some a little interest down there. I shouldn't have pushed that hard on that because now I'm not going to be able to get it off of the glue. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, oh brother. And then I have more on my fingers than I do on... Alright, and that will get stitched around as well. So, that is that. Let's see how it's going to fit in that page. Move this before I mess it up. I still can't totally see them, but you know, when you take it out, at least you can see the roses over here, so that's kind of cool. So there's that. So I'll stitch here, here, and then around that card, that journaling card. So that is that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and a very blessed Thanksgiving and um, much love and blessings to you and your families and friends. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.